if you wanted to debug an IS instead of Visual Studio, I thought I would tell you how to do that. And the first thing is, you know, you would have to point IS to your same web folder where we're running our, our web application. So basically I would go in here to the default website and I would just change the basic settings from wherever I'm pointing it now to our tutorials, Mojo portal, web folder. Now I've covered in another video that it's important to have the uh, permissions for the identity that the web applica uh, the application pool runs at. So I have to go to the web folder here and I have to go to security, choose edit, add, the next, find now. And as we saw in a previous video on my machine, network service is the user. It might be different on your machine. Uh, but that's the guy who needs permission here. And we're going to give him read permission on the whole web folder. I'm going to click OK. And then we branch it down. And we want to give him better permissions on the data folder so he can write. So we choose Edit. And we give him full control on the data folder. And we click OK. And we do the same thing on the app data folder. Okay, now the next thing is in Visual Studio, we've got to close out of that because in order to debug an IS, you've got to run Visual Studio as administrator. So what we do is we right click the link and choose run as administrator. And this, you, you can't debug an IIS without doing this. And then we open up our solution again. Okay, so now we've set our folder permissions and configured IIS. In order to debug an IIS, we have to go in and right click mojoportal.web project. Remember, that's the project that we debug from. We never debug directly on our guestbook feature. And now that we've set up IS, we can change this to localhost, and we can save that. And then if we launch the debugger, uh, and I should point out that now that we've created our site, it actually runs in localhost without, you know, the port that was the Visual Studio web server. And in Visual Studio, we can now uh, hit the debugger play button, and we could launch and debug in IS. Um, now this can be useful because there are some differences between IIS and the Visual Studio web server. I've occasionally encountered little things that go wrong in the Visual Studio web server but actually work fine in IIS. And in any case, you know, debugging is better if, uh, sometimes to replicate your production environment uh, as closely as possible. So, you know, it can be better to debug it running directly in IIS so that you're getting that more realistic scenario at your production site. Now these differences are, you know, very small and only happen in a few, few cases here and there. One example by default, IIS would serve image files and things like that directly and Visual Studio web server is serving all files because uh, it's nothing, nothing behind it. Whereas in IIS, uh, ASP.NET handles requests for certain file types like .aspx uh, and things like that, but image files by default would just be served by IS, and IS can serve it up faster and easier than invoking ASP.NET code to do it. But in Visual Studio, you know, that it has to serve every file, so it's actually .NET code is handling the serving of images and everything in that scenario. So it's, again, one of the differences. But so now we're, you know, we're debugging. Um, we could set, let's see, we could set a breakpoint right here in our guest book, and then we can go back to uh, here. And if we click on our page, you can see we hit our guest book or our breakpoint. And we can step through it with F10 or F11. F11 steps into the method, like the load settings. So I'll hit F11, and we go in there. There's nothing in there right now. We hit F10 a couple times, and then. Like I say, F10 will just run that whole method without stepping into it, but we'll, you know, so we'll just do that. And then F11 steps in again, so we're stepping into the controls. 
And again, this is not doing anything much right now. But when we're done, if we just want to continue, we can just hit F5 or the play button. There's also these equivalents to F11 and F10 over here in the toolbar. Um, and we just hit play. But again, just like uh, in Visual Studio, you know, we don't need to run it in the debugger once IIS is set up unless we're trying to debug something, unless we want to set a breakpoint and see what's happening in the code at a certain point. So we can just stop the debugger right here. We can make changes to our code. We can build and then just refresh the browser without the extra weight of the debugger. And we can debug when we need to, when something's not working correctly or we want to verify that it's hitting some execution path or what some variable is at a certain point. That's what debugging is all about. So that's the main tricks. Uh, you've got to uh, first set up your IIS to point to your folder. You've got to set the permissions just like you would on production. Uh, you've got to run Visual Studio as administrator and then you can go into Mojo Portal Web and change this to localhost. Now, um, you know, if you're working from Subversion, you've made a change to the file, you, you know, you don't you know, kind of want to undo that when you're done and just go back. That way when you get uh, do SVN update, you won't run into conflicts. So I hope that's helpful with debugging in IS. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next clip.